Hello everybody and today we are going to work on creating a drawing file to use with the laser cutter. This is relatively straightforward <clears throat> and easy to do. Uh, I'm not going to go into a tutorial on how to use Fusion 360 to design but just really how to set this out for the laser cutter. So the first thing we need to do is create some sort of template. So this is for the mask project like you were making a fabric mask for something or somebody. So I'm just going to make a simple rectangle here. That would be, let's do six by nine. All right, so this would be like the material or fabric that we want to cut out. Finish the sketch. You need to extrude this some amount. So it's up to you how much you want to extrude. I usually do eighth inch for a lot of flat stuff. And there it is. <clears throat> now this is very simple. If you wanted rounded edges or some other pattern, it's up to you. Now, uh, what we do from here is we save it. So let's call this, let's change the folder that this is going into, school stuff. Call this mask one or whatever you want to call it. Okay, save that. So there we have it. Now we go into creating a drawing from, so it's drawing from design. Click that. You'll see here on this image or on this pop-up, it can be the full assembly, right? So that's what we want. Uh, standard as unit, it doesn't matter. Units, inches, that we want to keep. And then sheet size. This is up to you. We know it's going to be six by nine. So this sheet size works for most people. If you need something bigger, you can obviously get a bigger one. But 17 by 11 works. Hit OK. <clears throat> this will take uh, either be really quick or some, on com some computers, it may take a little bit for it to do this. Um, you just got to wait it out. Don't try to click anything while it's happening. So you see here, like just a couple of periods ago, I did this. It was like up and going in moments. And now for some reason, it's taking a little bit longer than usual, but whatever. So we'll just sit through and wait for this to happen. Now, what will happen is it's going to pop up with the drawing screen. And obviously this time it is taking longer. There we go. We finally got it. <clears throat> and it's going to take a second for it to bring the sheet up with its... Uh, border and title block and the part of the image that we need. Still going. There we go. Look at that. So we want the top view. So we look over in this little window. We can see orientation top. That's the way I designed it. Yours may pop up in the correct view. It depends on the X, Y, or Z planes that you used. And also the scale, I want one-to-one. -one. So I'm just going to put one. There it is. I'm going to place it anywhere on here as long as it's fully on here. Hit click. And OK. There it is. Next thing I need to do is go to sheet settings. Click that. Turn off the visibility for that stuff. I'm just going to place this in the center so it's easy to look at. That is it. That is all you need to do. The le that's, that's it. That's it. Now, if you have multiple parts, you could technically arrange them on here. Um, or you can make a drawing for each individual part of the mask that you need to cut out. That is up to you, but this is basics of how it's done. If there was another part, you technically could add the base view, bring it in, right? And so you would click the view that you would need. And then from there, there's a couple of things that you have to click through. I'm not going to worry about that, but I may do it on a different video. I don't need this. Now I need the PDF of this. Click on PDF. All sheets, okay. It'll download. Let's call it mask one um, template. And there you have it. Save. And it's done. You're going to email that to me and be good to go. Uh, I'm going to make create another video where I can use Google Drawings to do the same thing. Uh, it gives us a couple of extra options. So when I come back, I'll have the second part to this series. All right, people, have a good day. Bye.